Earth observing satellites like the Joint Polar Satellite System help scientists measure land surface temperature, soil moisture, and precipitation daily. This data is important for farmers and home gardeners. Did you know that it takes more than three gallons of fresh water to produce a single sheet of paper? Making recycled paper can be a great way to learn about how recycling works and start a conversation about how the products we use play a role in the modern water cycle. To do this project, you'll need some simple materials from around the house. You'll need scrap paper, like any used notebook or printer paper. You'll need a bowl and access to water. And a rigid screen. I'm using a splatter guard from the dollar store. You'll also need some seeds. Any mixed seeds like zinnias or marigolds will be perfect for this. And if you want, you can also add dried flowers like biodegradable glitter, food coloring, fruit and vegetable dyes, any add-ins like that that you want. For the first step in this process, you're going to tear up your paper into tiny sheets. So you can use scissors for this or just your hands or a hole punch or something. It just, you want to make the paper as small as you can. At this stage, once you've torn up as much paper as you want, you're going to let it soak in water. You're just going to cover it with water and then let it soak for a few hours or overnight as long as you can. The longer you can soak it, the softer it's going to be. Once you feel like it's soft and you can kind of get in there and feel that, you are going to mash it up into a pulp. You can use a potato masher for this or you can just use your hands. And you're just going to try to break it down until it doesn't look like little bits of paper anymore and it's just kind of, um, you know, a blobby mass of paper. At this point, once you have your pulp where you want it, you can drain it. And then you don't want to get all the water out, but you can add in your mix-ins here. So any dyes or biodegradable glitter or flowers, add those at this stage. And then you're going to add in your seeds. And you want to make sure that you gently fold in your seeds, that you're not crushing them as you're adding them to your pulp. Now comes the fun part. You're going to get out that rigid screen that you have or splatter guard or some parchment paper and you're going to start to make the paper. And so to do that, you're going to take out the pulp and you're going to spread it over your area and try to smash it down until it becomes one cohesive sheet. This is how you're making your paper. You can shape it if you want to. You can even use cookie cutters at this stage. You just want to get it nice as flat and as dense as possible and try to squeeze out any water that's still in it as much as you can. You can even blot it with a paper towel at this stage if you have one available. And just try to get it smooth and the shape that you want because this is where it's going to dry in the shape. At this point, once you have it when you want it, you need to leave it alone. Generally, you can dry it overnight. If you want to speed along the process, you can use a hair dryer, but it's best to just sort of leave it alone for a few hours and let it dry on its own. Once it's totally dry, you should be able to easily peel it up. If you made it sort of thin in some areas, you might need to use a spatula to loosen it, um, but in general, you can just peel the sheet right up when it's done, and at that point, you can treat it like a regular sheet of paper. After you're done admiring it, you can plant your paper under a shallow layer of soil to sprout your seeds. And what you're gonna need to do is keep the soil moist while you wait for it to sprout, and your seeds should begin to germinate in just a few weeks. If you enjoyed making this project, you can check out more educational, hands-on activities on our website. And make sure to follow Joint Polar Satellite System on social media so you can get updates on news, cool images, and other fun educational opportunities like this one.